Today, we are going to look at Half Thor Bjornsson, aka Thor's Day of Eating. He is a professional strongman that won the World's Strongest Man competition in 2018. He stands at six foot nine inches tall and approximately 450 pounds. That's more than three of me. As with just every strongman, Thor has suffered injuries that have compromised his ability to compete at a professional level. We have seen this in many of the top level athletes in the strongman competition lately. Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, it seems like all of these guys are getting injured. Now, their diets seem good from the conventional standpoint, modern culture, what we've been told our whole lives, whole foods like meat, rice, vegetables, but at the core, they are still lacking key nutrients from animal fats, organs, wild-caught fish, just high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods aren't really present in their diet. Fat-soluble vitamins as well as omega fatty acids are notably lacking. Thor also suffers from Bell's palsy, which is when the muscles on one side of your face become paralyzed. This is said to resolve itself on its own in a period of months. However, I'm curious if Bell's palsy resolves itself in the presence of vitamin D3, as sun exposure would explain why Bell's palsy becomes cured in a few months as it is seasonal. You know, there's a period of a few months where people don't get enough vitamin D3, and it's possible that in the summer or spring, you know, when the sun comes back out, that these people with Bell's palsy get more sun exposure. A lack of nutrients might be the culprit here as well, uh, not just for the Bell's palsy, but these athletes might not be able to repair their bodies optimally due to lack of these nutrients. And there is definitely a concern about high carbohydrate consumption, uh, the stress it causes on the body in general from an inflammatory standpoint, especially the pancreas. We know all of these athletes are using performance enhancing drugs uh, to a very high extent. I'm assuming they use insulin as well. And this is when you inject insulin essentially like a diabetic because insulin is an incredibly powerful drug that allows you to absorb all macronutrients quicker, not just carbohydrates. So I don't actually know if it makes sense in the context of insulin injections that carbohydrates are less hard on the body but you know the strongest man competition in general and this very high level of food consumption and drug use is definitely not conducive to a long and healthy life we can certainly say that their fat intake needs to increase as nutrients are contained in the fat of high quality animal foods uh, so let's take a look at some of his meals Looks like we both just rolled out of bed, but my hair looks better. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what I eat the whole day. That's the the bell's palsy. My last meal. I'm gonna have my cult Sebastian Orb with me, and he's gonna try to keep up. Hope you guys enjoy. First meal of the day: six pieces of bacon, six egg, and an oatmeal. I'll we'll throw that in the oven. Bacon is. I'm hungry, so let's get started. Usually just throw Max straight away here. Now I'm gonna try this. Yeah, just yeah. because you know it before you put it in. Yeah, it, it allows the, the yolk to go evenly. Mm -hmm. We we'll just cook everything together. Yeah. And we'll just put it in. I've been eating eggs now straight for probably 10 years. Yeah, um, even longer now. People ask me all the time, like, like, how do you stay motivated? Mm -hmm. It's hard to teach motivation. Some people are just born that way. In certain ways, all, 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 all I mean, it doesn't hurt to be born seven feet it's tall. It's not a hassle to wake up in the morning. I'm just, I wake up, I'm hungry, I have breakfast. 
while other people have a hard time eating, they wake up, you know, or they can't wake up, they have to sleep in because they're just so tired mm. and they don't eat breakfast because they don't feel hungry. For me, it's totally opposite. I wake up every morning, probably like around 8 a.m. I don't put alarm on, on because I know my body, I know I will wake up and I, and I do allow myself to sleep in a bit if I can mm. because I'm a huge believer in, um, you know, getting a good, good amount of sleep. I usually typically get around seven, eight hours. If I get more, that's fine. I'm very like, be careful with bacon because you can easily burn it. It's not nice actually. Bacon ready, eggs ready. It's hemp hearts, it's chia seeds, it's mixed seeds, and then it's ground flax, ground goji berries and um, some other seeds thrown in there as well. Overcooked the hell out of those eggs. He's not exactly bouncing off the walls with energy, seems to be very physically stressed when doing any movements. I'm, I'm sure this has to do with his size, but it could also be a lack of vitamins and proper energy metabolism. Uh, he is using supermarket white eggs, and I'm assuming supermarket bacon as well. So the food quality isn't really there. He doesn't have an understanding of that. Uh, the cooking utensils he uses, you know, he put the bacon on aluminum foil and he has a nonstick pan. So he's also unaware of the negative chemical aspects of, you know, you're cooking with these types of things. And you would think an athlete at the top level, pretty much in the world, uh, would be made aware of these things. But it's just weird how these people get to this level and they don't seem to know more than everyone else. They just have a genetic gift. Uh, he actually did have uh, slightly crooked teeth. So he didn't have perfect facial development through his younger years. I'm curious if we see his father or his other family members later in this video uh, to see if they have straight teeth or if it's the same for them too. Taking a look at the actual meal, it might look pretty good to the average person on paper, but when you feed chickens corn and soy, it raises the omega-6 content of the animal product and therefore becomes inflammatory and it also lacks nutrients because there's a lack of nutrients in the feed for the animals. Uh, so the eggs here, the bacon here, yes, he's getting some animal protein, he's getting some cholesterol to help with hormone production, he's getting some vitamins, but nowhere near where they could be, nowhere near ideal omega ratios. The oatmeal... You know, we did a video on how to prepare oats properly. Uh, we made a traditional fermented oat dish a couple months back called Sowins. And when you traditionally ferment oats and reduce the anti-nutrient content, it creates a pretty good source of energy. Uh, quick oats are not, you know, that low inflammatory source of energy. He has whey protein in there, uh, a bunch of seeds. The only thing the seeds are going to do is increase the omega-6 content of the diet, give you digestive issues. Seeds are very high in anti-nutrients and are probably causing a lot of inflammation in his stomach. Uh, banana, not too bad. I mean, there might be pesticide or herbicide uh, concerns with the banana, but uh, honey, nothing wrong with honey really in small, moderate amounts. Orange juice, more fructose straight to the liver. The overall carbohydrate load of this meal isn't too bad. I don't think he's overloading his body with too much fruit sugar. It might be a little bit on the high side. Uh, we're kind of on the edge here, but there could definitely be better preparation on the oats, uh, removal of the whey protein, increase in quality of the animal protein. A lot of room for improvement in this meal. I mean, he's doing better than some people because he, he actually has some fat consumption with the egg yolks, with the bacon, uh, but we're still a long way away from nutrient density. It is nice. I like to barbecue all my steak, especially in the Icelandic weather. I actually grill in all kinds of weather. Rainy, windy, sunny I prefer, but it's, it's raining, it's okay. I cook this usually like after breakfast when I just have all my meals ready for We got today. some relaxing music and today For tomorrow as well, so you know I always have a schedule throughout my day Do these two things, you know So if I ever have to leave the house I have meals ready, put it in a box, take it with me So I never like, I never I'm always ready to eat every, every, every two hours. 
I thought we can make sure you film the girls through nothing and I'm the, like working my, working my ass off, you know? Uh, uh, the girls calling ice on air so that we can make sure that nothing's wrong with the flight so you can make it to World Star Wars now? What we have here on the menu, ribeye minced, watches, potatoes, tantalum steak, and rice. The way that you make it, very different to me, dextrose. Mm -hmm. So Chelsea's going to go through step to step. So there's four cups of rice in here, cups eight of cups of water, and then we add salt to it before we cook it. And then we add a big bag. How much uh, spinach is in that bag? 200, 200, 200 grams of spinach on the top and let it cook all together. Then when we're done, we put about, for this much rice, probably half a cup of butter, because we've got four cups. Half a cup, three cups of butter. Made. And then I literally just take this bag and I just sprinkle it in according to how much rice is in there. How much? How much? That's his uh, girlfriend or wife, it. by the way. This is what a real chef does. <laughs> we eyeball. <laughs> nice. I'm excited to try the rice, you know. Pretty hungry. It goes in plus, you Chicken's like organic chicken broth. Fat free. I guess I don't need the fat. I have some fat in the ribeye. Good. And here. Veggies? What veggies do you have? Carrots and peppers. How many strong men eat veggies, do they? But I don't know, I don't ask them all to like about diet they? every time. Like I know some of them like cheese cakes. <laughs> yeah. Hello! That's one bag of spinach, huh? One 200 gram, it's a larger grams. bag. Veggies! <laughs> I've seen other strongmen eat ground ribeye as well. Uh, this was Brian Shaw. And just from a culinary perspective, I can't justify grinding up such an expensive, tender, and nice cut of meat. Maybe these guys are just choking down so much food they don't really enjoy the meals anymore. I'm curious if he's in a high EMF environment. Uh, electromagnetic frequencies from cell phone, Wi Fi, routers, landline phones, smart meters, definitely impair recovery, definitely impair digestion, uh, you know, contribute to lower quality sleep. And I don't think they're aware of this type of stuff, you know, as they're not aware of nutrient density, they're not aware of negatives about cooking. So keeping athletes in a low EMF environment is probably something we're going to see in the future. You heard it here first from Frankie Boy. And if any of Thor's trainers are watching me, don't just copy half the stuff I'm saying. Maybe write me a check and also ask me because there's stuff up here that I'm not telling you boys and girls. Uh, so let's jump into the meal now. This is a bit better uh, than the first meal from an inflammatory standpoint because we don't have the high omega-6 content of the eggs, of the bacon, of the seeds. Ribeye steak, can't complain. Uh, protein, I mean, but we're not really getting a lot of fat, a lot of high-quality fat, soluble vitamin intake. I'm glad they put butter in the rice, uh, but he's still only having a tablespoon of butter, so it's not a significant amount of nutrients uh, for his size. Butter does contain fat, soluble vitamins if it's high-quality, he probably doesn't have quality butter, and again, he's not consuming enough of it. Uh, chicken stock, even if it's organic chicken stock, as he said, uh, it's fat-free. There's no nutrients in it, and organic chickens are still fed organic corn and soy. Not quality stuff. Uh, carrots, red bell pepper, might be slightly inflammatory to some people, usually not too much of an issue. Uh, the baby spinach, you know, spinach is a vegetable that's high in oxalates. It can impair calcium and magnesium absorption to some degree. I mean, consuming that much spinach on a regular basis uh, can cause kidney stones and issues in some people, uh, but there's no benefit to consuming it. You know, he's not really getting anything from it. Uh, dextrose is a form of glucose and it's used by a lot of bodybuilders uh, to just get muscle glycogen repleted and recover uh, from workouts. I mean, the guy's probably using insulin, you know, that's what we said earlier, and he has an incredibly high carbohydrate consumption frequently. Uh, so he's obviously using it as a source of energy, but I'd be really interested to see, you know, how these guys would do on a higher fat diet. Uh, the coconut water, I don't really object to if it's fresh from a coconut, but the carton stuff is probably oxidized to some degree. Uh, you know, maybe there's stuff leaching from the carton or the plastic bottle. 
it is a good source of like electrolytes like potassium uh, there's some sugar in there for energy decent for hydration but it's hard to get quality you know there's a big difference between a fresh coconut versus something that in a can that's been shipped across the world there is a clip of his grandfather in this and he has perfectly straight teeth uh, I saw a picture of his father elsewhere, and the father does not have perfectly straight teeth. Uh, in Weston Price's work, uh, Weston Price was a dentist in the early 1900s who examined indigenous groups. He noticed the degeneration, uh, specifically of the teeth and the facial structure. And not just the teeth and the facial structure, but all other physical aspects of human beings have degenerated as we've gone on modern diets uh, full of vegetable seed oils, full of wheat, uh, higher in grains, lower in animal foods. And that can probably be said in his family. You know, his grandfather would have gotten more animal foods. Uh, his grandfather's mother would have gotten more animal foods, had a higher quality breast milk, higher quality pregnancy, which resulted in better facial development. And generations goes on. They still preserve the height to some degree, but they didn't have certain nutrients uh, that result in a wider bone structure, a wider face. And you might say, oh, well, Thor has a wider face. Well, he's, he's a much higher body fat. He has a lot of inflammation in his face. And if you look at the actual width of the jaw and width of the teeth, uh, his grandfather is slightly larger. You know, we're looking at the dental arches, uh, not just the, the width of the face. So, the, so that's something really interesting. Uh, and, you know, just needing glasses, having crooked teeth, all of these things are a result of our modern diets. You know, imagine how much money, you know, everyone would be out if we didn't need glasses or braces, LASIK surgery, you know, get half your tits cut out. This next meal is very similar, except he added some baby white potatoes, a banana and some orange juice. So this guy is running on pure carbohydrate metabolism, nowhere near ketosis. From an aging standpoint and longevity standpoint, this high of a carbohydrate consumption needs to be met with a, a high level of activity. Uh, we did see indigenous groups that had very long lifespans consume large amounts of carbohydrates, uh, centenarians actually, but these people were hiking for 10, 12, 14 hours a day, uh, which, you know, being in contact with the earth and nature and the sun results in a high level of antioxidant activity. And I don't think he's exactly experiencing that. Uh, so definitely some concern long term. I kind of glossed over the whey protein and all supplements have dozens and dozens of these laboratory chemical ingredients and every single one of these can be broken down. You know, we can find out what it is. Is it bleached? Is it deodorized? Is it a natural chelation? Is it something inflammatory to the body? Does it compromise nutrient absorption? You know, there's so many negatives of every single one of these dozens of ingredients we can look at in these protein powders uh, that it's just too much to go through. Uh, the actual source of protein, the whey, uh, can be inflammatory to some people, depends on the individual tolerance to dairy, uh, depends on how the product was made, but actual animal foods, animal flesh, is far less inflammatory than whey protein, even if you're not consuming the best quality meat. There's just too many factors in these supplements uh, that might be causing issues for some people. So yes, it might be a quick digesting, highly available source of protein, but in the long run, the inflammation, all the chemicals and questionable ingredients, go for low ingredient stuff. And, and maybe there are whey proteins that I haven't really looked into that are low in ingredients. That's what I would search for. Those meals were actually just part one. Uh, he had some more meals in the second video, pretty similar structure. He threw in some protein shakes, uh, some more bananas, just carbohydrates, protein, real lack of nutrients in the diet. Uh, so at the end of the day, I'm sure he's still going to be better off and healthier than other people. You know, he's pretty well off. I'm sure he has access to great doctors, has a lot of people around him that know what they're doing to some degree, still not where they should be. Uh, so, hey, maybe in the future, Frankie Boy is going to be a professional uh, consultant for optimizing athletes. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just telling people what they're doing wrong on YouTube. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, uh, we've recently launched Frankie's Free Range Meats as well as Frankie's Naturals. If you want high quality, nutrient dense animal foods, 
shipped straight to your door. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, you can get some grass-fed beef fat, organs, nutrient-dense foods that Thor is lacking in his diet. And if you go to frankiesnaturals.com, you can get vitamin D3, moisturizing cream, aka Frankie's ball grease, and who knows, it might help someone with Bell's palsy. Uh, so again, thank you guys for joining me today, and enjoy your 4th of July. We're doing a live stream later, grilling, 2.30 p.m. See you guys then.